It's all about problem solving. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about problem solving. So I've been thinking about this a little bit recently, uh, a lot over the past couple of years in general, but really when we talk about uh, the Minuteman, LARPing, and Minecraft thing, a lot of it boils down to problem solving and that we need to be problem solvers. What I mean is, I think that you know a lot of times when we talk about the gear and the tactics and the, the procedures and the SOPs and the manuals and all the stuff, we can easily forget that all of those things are tools to solve a problem and not necessarily the solution to a problem, right? You, you see this whenever someone posts some video of doing some drill or some fire maneuver drill or some ambush drill or, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And someone will always comment in, you know, you did it wrong, right? You did it wrong. Well, what, what, what does that mean? What, what they usually mean, right, is they say, well, you know, I flipped open the page, whatever in the manual, and it says you should go left and you went right. And so therefore, you know, you did it wrong. You didn't do it according to the manual. And I always look at that and I think, well, I don't know, maybe, um, you, you know, I talk about this more in my 201 book, but battle drills are, end point, or excuse me, they're starting points. They're not end points, right? They are not things that we go to to be like, this is the only solution. Rather, they're designed as tools to help you solve problems, you know? So just for example here, right? I was out with my boys a couple weeks ago and we we're doing a fire maneuver drill, right? Slaying some steel targets and uh, one team shooting, another team's moving, you made a couple teams going. And anyway, uh, a guy's gun goes down. Now. Um, you know, that never happened to me before, never, never happened to anyone else as far as I knew before, but you know, we're doing the shoot and move drill and someone's gun goes down. So we didn't, we didn't stop the drill, right? Because you can't do that, right? We're, we're practicing to figure this out. Um, and so what, what, what do you do? Well, the correct answer, by the way, is you got to keep shooting and moving, right? And kind of fix it on the fly. But the, the thing that allows you to get there, right, is to have a problem solving mentality. To be like, I am here to solve a problem, right? And I, I think there's a couple ways to think about that. One is, uh, what's the next problem that I need to solve, right? And in this case, you know, the guy whose gun went down, the next problem that he needs to solve, he needs to get his, his gun back in the fight, right? Um, and then there's the, you know, what's the next problem that we, as a team here, need to solve, right? Well, in this case, it's winning the fight against the steel targets, right? We need to, we need to continue to have con consistent fire and continue to move on it and et cetera, et cetera, right? So we need to, we need to win the fight. And, and so I think that that's a way to, it's a good uh, paradigm or thought process, right? What's the next problem that we're trying to solve? And most of the time in the Minuteman LARPing Minecraft thing, right? The, the problem is defeat the bad guy, right? That's, that, that's the problem we're trying to solve. We're trying to defeat the bad guy. And there's various ways to do it. That's why we have all this gear and all these skills and all this tactics and techniques and procedures and SOPs and all this stuff are tools that we can pull out of the toolbox as we need to solve the current problem, right? What's the, again, what's the next problem I need to solve? What's the next problem my team needs to solve? And we need to start thinking and talking more about problem solving. Uh, it's Travis Haley, and I think it, it used to be a phrase of his. I, I hope it's, I'm pretty sure it's still a phrase of his, but it's thinkers before shooters, right? Thinkers before shooters. Uh, we, we need to be thinkers, right? Uh, and, and again, you need to solve the problem, right? The, I once heard uh, battlefield tactics described as, uh, or tactics described as solving a battlefield problem. I think I got that from Max Velocity Tactical. And I think that's really smart, right? That's, that's what we're trying to do at the end of the day. We're trying to solve a problem. And we need to be creative and initiative taking in our thinking and thought process. Uh, for example, this one time I was at a class uh, doing the Miles 2000 gear thing. And uh, we ha were going in on this attack, it was night, it was pitch dark, and one team was gonna come in and attack this way, my team was in this ravine thing. Um, I say ravine, but it was like eight foot high, we were in this little creek bed, uh, creek bed, with like eight foot high kind of sides. And uh, once the attack, if the attack failed from the main effort, our job was to come on in and, and flank them, right? Well, the attack failed from the main effort. I mean, I, we could hear them out there fighting and fighting and dying. Again, fighting and dying, again, you know, made up, right? It's all fake. And, uh, 
And when it came time to do our, our attack, the guy who was in charge, our leader there, uh, was not a problem solver and uh, didn't said, well, you know, we can't go in there. We're just going to like stay here and pull security or something stupid. Uh, my buddy who was with us, who was a problem solver, was like, well, hey, why don't we like, you know, climb up the, the creek bed this way and we can kind of come around and kind of flank him in a 180 deal and we can get on top of him, you know? And he's like, no, no, just hang out here. I didn't. I didn't have a good experience that time. Uh, but anyway, point being that there was, there was, we were trying to solve the problem, right? What's the problem we're trying to solve? We're trying to defeat this enemy position, right? That's what we're trying to do. And so we're trying to figure out how to do that. Doing nothing, by the way, is not problem solving. That's doing nothing. That's what we call that. So anyway, we're trying to solve this problem, right? That's what we're trying to do. And I think it's important to remember, like I said, that we have all these tactics, techniques, procedures, SOPs, skills, gear, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, so that we are able to pull those tools out as we need to solve a problem. And you need to start thinking that way. You know, one of the things that separates uh, like, you know, special forces units and stuff like that is they are initiative taking problem solving guys, right? They're thinkers and not thinkers before shooters. Why? Because they've weeded out everybody else to get to that level, right? And I think we as everyday American Minuteman people need to borrow from that heavily and consider ourselves problem solvers and thinkers. Why? Well, one, chances are you're a little bit older. You're probably not some 19 year old kid who thinks that Candy still loves him, right? Like you're probably, hopefully, God willing, a little bit smarter in how life works, right? And I think that problem solving is something that one, it's a skill you develop as you, as you get older, hopefully, and two, this is something you can readily practice, right? You can, when you wake up tomorrow and you go to your job uh, and you have issues, because we always have those at work, right? You can say, okay, I, I could you know, sit around and wait for Frank to tell me what to do or whatever and just be here. Or you can be an active initiative taking problem solver, right? And that is practicing for being part of the Minuteman LARP and Minecraft uh, problem solving thing, right? We need to take the initiative, find the problem. What's the next problem I need to solve right now? and then find the solutions to fix that, right? And again, battlefield conditions are no different. We're still trying to solve a problem. I just don't think that we talk about this enough because we always want, we as human beings, tend to always want a cut and dry answer, right? Well, you know, two plus two is four. I, I do this, I do this, and then I get this result. Well, most of life, combat included, is not like that, right? You can't just put in the right input and get the output you want. Most of the time, things get fuzzy and there's friction and there's, you know, in combat, they call that the fog of war, right? There's, there's gray areas and problems and issues come up. Have you ever tried to do a house project on your house? If so, you're very uh, well accustomed to this issue, right? You're just gonna do a simple little uh, hang a picture on wall, no big deal, just a simple little thing. And then, you know, you drill through one of the electrical lines in the wall and hit it and cut out the whole lights to the half the house, right? Like, like these things happen. And then now you have a new problem you have to solve. And most of life is like that. And it's not like simple math on a page. When it comes to how we think about that, we need to think about it as problem solvers. I'm gonna go out there and Minecraft in my LARP. There's gonna be some kind of problem and I need to know my tactics, techniques, procedures, skills, gear, whatever, et cetera, well enough that I can at command apply the right tactic or gear set or skill set or whatever to solve this problem, right? When you're out on that fire maneuver drill and someone's gun goes down, they need to have the skill set to be able to clear the malfunction, right? This, this one that we went out on and the guy's gun went down, it was pretty bad. Like he had to mortar the gun, he had to like try to kickstart it, like that, that tandle was not coming back, right? So he had to have the skill set to know how to fix the gun, right? And whoever was in charge of that movement, which was me that round, uh, I had to have the skill set and the knowledge of understanding of, hey, okay, as a team, uh, we, need, we still need to keep moving here. We still need to get things moving. We still need to keep up consistent fire. As a team, we still need to make the music happen. And he just needs to fix it as we move, right? So like those are the problems and the skill sets that you have to have a, a strong enough command of. You have to understand things at that principle level, right? That principle level of, again, what's the problem we're trying to solve? We'll defeat the bad guy, right? So knowing that's where we're going, exactly how are we gonna get there when someone's gun goes down? Well, I, you know, you gotta work through it. You gotta work through the problem. You gotta figure it out. You gotta fix it. But if you don't have that, 
the command of the basics, right? The command of the skills to fix the malfunction, the command of the basic skills of like, what's fire maneuver? Well, one team is firing, another team is maneuvering. That's, that's the basics, right? If you don't have a command of those, you cannot just at will apply them to problems as they arise. And, and so that's why we talk about drilling the basics in and knowing them super, super well, even when you're stressed out of your mind and on an adrenaline rush, not because you're suddenly just going to like forget everything, you know, but because when you have a very strong command of them, what it does is it allows you to free up your brain space to then apply them appropriately to solve the problem, right? Where it's all just a chess match. Uh, I did some judo when I was in college. My son's in jujitsu now. If you've ever done, you know, a fighting grappling sport like that, I've never done a striking sport. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. Uh, but it's really just a chess match with your body, right? That's all you're doing. It's moves and counter moves. If you look at every battle from history, that's all it is, right? It's moves and counter moves. It, it's a chess match. And to be able to play that chess match well, right? You have to have a good command of the basics so that you can then apply them appropriately to outmaneuver that other person, right? If you look at the OODA loop, for example, right? The OODA loop is just problem solving faster than the other person, right? That's essentially, I mean, when it really boil it down, that's what we're doing. You're trying to solve a problem faster than the other person. If you're not familiar with the OODA loop, uh, I believe it's John Boyd came up with it in the 50s. Uh, during or right after, I can't remember which, the Korean War, uh, you can look into that. Um, but point being that that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to solve these problems and we're, you're only limited by your creativity uh, and your initiative, really. Th those are the only two things that are limiting you. You are the limiting factor. And so that's why I say, one, we need to talk about this more. And then two, we need to practice it more, right? We need to practice how to solve these problems. Best way to do that, just in your everyday life, uh, you know, go out, run drills. We'll give you command of the basics, but it might not necessarily give you like in a, a, a way to solve that specific problem. You can sit around and talk about scenarios with your boys. Super good idea there. But you need to start thinking of yourself as an initiative taking problem solver. Start doing that in your day to day life. It's going to pay dividends. Uh, and then again, think about it as we get out into the Minecrafty uh, LARPing thing of how exactly are we going to solve these problems? Remember, you're only limited by your creativity and your initiative. When someone tells you, oh, well, that's not the right way to do it. Th the chances are they don't know what they're talking about. And chances are they don't really have a solid grasp on the basics or they, they're just too dogmatic and they think if I do this input, I'll get this output. And almost nothing in life is like that, right? That's why we have to be creative and fluid, right? Again, it's chess, right? Moves and counter moves. So this is just my thought or my, my word to you to encourage you to be a problem solver. Start thinking of yourself as a problem solver. Start thinking of all these things as tools in your toolbox in order to be a better problem solver. Hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you something to think about. Do brave deeds and endure.